Do you know what? Asked Percy. What? Grunted Gordon. Do you know what? Silly, said Gordon. Of course I don't know what. If you don't tell me what what is. Sir Topham Head says that the work in the yard's too heavy for me, so he's bringing a bigger engine to help me. Rubbish, said James. Any engine could do it. If you worked more and chatted less, this yard would be a sweeter, a better, and a happier place. Percy went off to fetch some coaches. That stupid old signal, he thought. He was remembering from the previous read-up, where he had misunderstood a signal and had gone backwards instead of forwards. No one listens to me now. They think I'm a silly little engine and order me about. I'll show them. I'll show them. But he didn't know how. By the end of the afternoon, he was tired and unhappy. He brought some coaches to the station. Hello, Percy, said Sir Topham Hat. You look tired. Oh, yes, sir. I am, sir. I don't know if I'm standing on my dome or on my wheels. Well, you look the right way up to me, laughed Sir Topham Hat. But cheer up. The new engine is bigger than you and can probably do the work alone. And by the way, would you like to help build my new harbor? Thomas and Toby will help, too. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. The new engine arrived next morning. What is your name? asked Sir Topham Hat. Montague, sir, but I'm usually called Duck. They say I waddle. I don't really, sir, but I like Duck better than Montague. Good. Duck it shall be. Here, Percy, show Duck around. Soon the two engines went off together, and soon they were very busy. Gordon, James, and Henry watched Duck quietly doing his work. He seems a simple sort of engine. We'll have some fun and order him about. Quack, 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 Smoke billowed everywhere. Percy was cross, but Duck took no notice. They'll get tired of it soon. Do they tell you to do things too, Percy? Yes, they do, answered Percy. Right, said Duck. We'll soon solve this nonsense. He whispered something. We'll do it later. Sir Topham Hatton was looking forward to hot buttered toast for lunch at home. But then he heard an extraordinary noise. Weesh! Oh, bother, he said, and hurried to the yard. Duck and Percy calmly sat on the switches outside the shed, refusing to let the engines in. Gordon, James, and Henry were furious. Stop that noise! bellowed Sir Topham Hat. They won't let us in, hissed Gordon. Duck, explain this behavior. Beg pardon, sir, but I'm a great western engine. We do our work without fuss. But, uh, begging your pardon, sir, Percy and I would be glad if you could inform these, um, uh, engines that we only take orders from you. Silence! thundered Sir Topham Hat. Percy and Duck, I was pleased with your behavior earlier today, but not with your behavior right now. You have caused a disturbance. Gordon, James, and Henry snickered. And as for you, thundered Sir Topham Hat, you've been worse. You made the disturbance. Now, Duck is quite right. This is my railway, and I give the orders. After Percy had went away, Duck was left to manage alone. He did so easily. 